Okay, shalom, shalom. I just want to start off by saying, Ko hello, yahawa, bahashim, yahwachai, bahashim, rakakwadach, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say thawada to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. My name is Yachanan Nawaf, and we come out on these highways and byways to teach the Bible, to let our people know, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. You are a chosen people, you're a peculiar people, you're a peculiar treasure to the Lord Yahweh, that's the true name of the Father. And the true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. The true name of the Father, again, is Yahweh, which means that he exists, or the existing one. And the true name of, of his Son, our King, our Savior, that's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior, or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. He is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy, you know, as the, um, you know, the so-called white man that lied to the world about. If he was walking the earth today, he would be a dark, melanated man, a so-called Negro from the tribe of Yahweh, which is the tribe of Judah. And there is no such thing as um, universal love in the Bible. The Lord only chose the children of Israel and the children of Israel only. The Old Testament is for the children of Israel and the New Testament, I mean the New Covenant. The Old and New Covenants are only for the children of Israel. You will not find nowhere in the Bible that the Lord made a covenant with any other nation, right? Matter of fact, let's start off with Psalms chapter uh, 148. Because what white people have done, they have taken the Bible, whitewashed all the images, and made the people of the world think that it's them that's actually the righteous, when actually the scriptures describes them as the wicked. They are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That's a wicked act in itself. The scripture says to not add to or take away from the Holy Scriptures, but this man, he didn't took away from the Scriptures and added to the Scriptures in a major way. First off, he gave you white Jesus, which is a damn idol. You know, he gave you all these movies, got all the people thinking that the disciples are white people, apostles are white people, all the prophets are white people, you know, Mary, you know, all, everybody is so-called white, you know, when it comes to the Bible, when clearly the Scriptures clearly says that the people of the, of the Bible were dark, melanated people. So that lets you know how wicked this man is. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord only gave the law, statutes, and commandments to Israel. You can Google that. There was no, no other nation involved. Because if the Lord was so universal and he loved everybody, he would have just saved the Egyptians along with the, with the Israelites. Why would he have to have taken the Israelites out of Egypt and bring them to a whole new land instead of just sending Aaron and Moses into Egypt and telling Pharaoh, hey, look, the Lord says, you know, he wants everybody to be saved. He wants all everybody to, to worship and praise him. No, he put plagues on, on the nation of um, um, the Egyptians, man. Actually, he done the Egyptians uh, quite dirty and killed the firstborn of the Egyptians, man, and then drowned out, the you know, a lot more of their, their, their men in, in, in the Red Sea. That was a major blow or a major hit to, um, in, um, to the Egyptians, man. Right? So if the, Lord, if the Lord loved everybody, and then after the children of Israel actually came out of Egypt, Going into the promised land, the Lord destroyed a whole lot of Canaanite um, nations, man. The Lord wasn't like, hey, as you travel through this land and on your way to the promised land, you know, stop and tell all the people that I love them too. No, man. The old covenant and the new covenant is only for the children of Israel. The Lord didn't give no law, statutes, and commandments to no other nation. We clearly just read it. Matter of fact, let me see. Uh, the BBE, I think this is the Babel Bi um, Basic Bible. Let's see how it reads. 
In the BBE translation, it says, he makes his word clear to Jacob, teaching Israel his laws and decisions and his decisions. He has not done these things for any other nation. And as for his laws, they have no knowledge of them. Let the Lord be praised. And that's true. So now in this day and time, you have all these different denominations of the church and all these different nations or all these heathenish nations actually thinking that they have part in what the Lord said and they don't. <laughs> it's really very simple. They don't have any parts in the New Testament, in the New Covenant or the Old Testament Covenant. Matter of fact, let's get Hebrew. Hebrews chapter 8, right? Because it's going to explain who the covenant is for. Verse, uh, let me start at verse 7. It says, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought. Matter of fact, let me see, slot here. Yeah, let's start there. Verse 7, Hebrews 8 and 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Where is everybody else in that? The old covenant was made with, with the Israelites. So he's saying in the New Testament that he's going to make a new covenant with the children of Israel, man. Because the old one, you know what I'm saying? We broke it, basically. And we're not in the New Covenant, too. Because you got camps that's teaching, or you got certain um, people that's saying that we're already in the New Covenant. And we can't be in the New Covenant because it clearly goes on to say. Let me just read on, verse 9. Let me get verse 8 again. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. That's how we know that we're not in the new covenant, because we're still out on the highways and byways right now teaching. If we were in the new covenant, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't need to teach. Because the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written on the minds and heart of the people, of the Israelites. And you can clearly see, it clearly says Israel over and over again. If you were to ask Siri or Google, you know, who is the old covenant given to? It's going to tell you Israel. And then in the New Testament, it's telling you the new covenant is for Israel. So where do all these other nations come into play at? See, that's that um, replacement theology. You know, all these different, you know, you got these heathen that got their hands on the Bible. And, and Esau, the so-called white man, and taught this lie that a so-called white man is coming back to save the world. But that's not scriptural. It's just not scriptural, man, you know? And a lot of people are going to be destroyed believing that. But a lot of our people, the actual Israelites, they really believe that an Edomite is coming back to save them, man. And they're going to be destroyed. And that's why we come out to let you know there's no such thing as a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy named Jesus that's coming back to save you. The man that's coming back to save us out of the hands of our enemies, his name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. He's only coming for the children of Israel, his brethren. Matter of fact, let's go to Luke chapter 1. I always say, man, Luke chapter 1 is the total beautiful breakdown as to the good news of the gospel and why the Lord is really, really coming, man. We'll start at verse, uh, matter of fact, this is um, entitled Zechariah's Prophecy, right? Zechariah is um, John the Baptist's father. So it says, Luke chapter 1, verse 67, and his father 
Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. So this is for the children of Israel, man. He has visited and redeemed his people. Because the Old Testament talks about how the Lord divided the nations. And he chose a nation out of all the nations that he created. And that nation is the children of Israel, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are a special, peculiar treasure unto the Lord, man. And that's why you're seeing all this chaos in the world. The Lord is flipping this world upside down on behalf of you. Because he's about to destroy America. You see all these, these talks of wars, rumors of wars. Not only wars, rumors of wars, but nuclear war. You see? But it goes on to say, let me get verse 68 again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up and horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Now, why is it speaking to David? Who is David? If you go to the Old Testament, you'll know that there was promises that was made to David. David was an Israelite. And David had the, 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 the heathen under his feet. You think that nowhere, you, hey, if you go back and read the history of David and King Solomon, hey, there was no nation sharing in, in the Israelites' on prosperity, man, like that, man. It wasn't happening. King David was going to war and, 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 and really treacherously torturing them of the mother nations, man. Right? He was an Israelite. Verse 70, Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Now, who was the prophets? The prophets were all Israelites. You're not going to find no prophet in the, in the scriptures that, 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 that was a, a Bible, book, Bible book that was written by a damn heathen, man, in the scriptures, man. The prophets were Israelites. The, the Bible, the scriptures, was written by Israelites through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim el It says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And these people hate our guts, man. That's why the Lord is coming. That, that's the clear gospel right there. That's the, that's the gospel in a nutshell right there. That the Lord is coming to save us out of the hands of our enemies and all those that hate us. I've done a lesson yesterday. And it just, you know, dawned on me like, you know, let me, let me Google. Why doesn't so-called blacks, I just put in blacks, you know what I'm saying? Why do so-called blacks not have a land of their own when it comes to so-called Negroes? Because, see, they'll compare us and think and say that we're Africans, but everyone with melanin is not the same people. We're not Africans. We're not Hamites. Those people are Hamites. We're Shemites. We're totally different people from them. If you notice, a lot of those Hamites, they can't grow beards like this. They got those little beady beads and shit. The women, they can't even really grow hair. A lot of those, those Hamite nations that's over there, you know, they had like the little beady bees. Their hair don't grow out like that. They can't grow beards. We're different people from them. But I asked them in Google, why doesn't the so-called black race have their own land? And when I went into the comments, them comments, man, it shows you the true perpetual hatred that these so-called white people and these other nations have for us, especially the so-called white man. He's the number one enemy of the Lord, though, in Psalms chapter 83. Number one enemy of the Lord is the Edomites. He's the first one named on the list. Because, see, a lot of people don't know that the Lord has enemies and that the Lord, um, they're, 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 there's nations of people. All these heathenist nations, they hate the Lord. They deal with their own so-called gods. See? See? There are, there are all types of idolatry, believing in multiple gods and all this other shit. See, we believe in Yahweh, you know, that created everything through his son, Yahweh Shai. These clowns, they believe that in a damn moon. They believe in the sun. They believe in trees. They believe in cows, rats, and all kinds of other shit. They don't believe in just one God. They believe in hundreds of gods. Some of these people believe in, you know, Hundreds of gods, man, especially the Egyptians. We're not Hamites, man. And again, these laws, statutes, and commandments was only given to the children of Israel. And when the Lord gave us these laws, statutes, and commandments, everything that he told us to do, those other nations wasn't doing. Everything that he told us don't do, those other nations was doing. So when you see laws like a father shall not sleep with his daughter, 
which is incest, those other nations is doing that. When you see a scripture that says, thou shall not lie with a beast, you know, a damn animal, those other nations is doing that. Thou shall not lie with mankind as mankind lie with a woman, you know, all this, 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 this A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit. Hey, those other nations is doing that. That's why, you know, these Edomites here in America, they don't have no problems with stuff like that. They got laws that protect these people. They actually have laws. It's legal to actually sleep with animals in America. But they're, they're claiming to be the righteous, that this is a, a Christian um, nation, but it's not. Because they don't follow anything that has to do with the scriptures, man. Right? Well, let's get verse 71 again, Luke 1 and 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right? To perform the mercy promised to our Father and to remember his holy covenant. There you go with the covenant. Who is the covenant given to? Right? Matter of fact, let me ask Siri. Who was the old, what nation was the old uh, covenant given to? Here's what I found. Well, they popping up with some damn music videos. Who was the old covenant given to in the Bible? Yep, there you go. It says, uh, God initiated a covenant with Abraham in which he promised to make a special nation. Let me see. It says, the roots of the old covenant actually trace back to Abraham, the forefather of Israel. God initiated a covenant with Abraham in which he promised to make a special nation of his descendants. See, it is these descendants who later entered into a covenant of God with God at Mount Sinai. Clear, man. But now you got these idiots in it, you know, talking about, well, the Lord, he loves everyone now. So basically what they're telling you is the Lord lied to Abraham. That's overall what Christianity is in a nutshell, that the Lord lied to Abraham, now all of a sudden these, these rat back cat eating goddamn Edomites and, 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 and fucking Chinese and Japanese, everybody is in on this covenant now, and, and the Lord done forgot about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the throne of David. And that shows you how wicked these fucking Edomites are, man. You go to a damn Bible uh, a seminary school or cemetery school, and they teaching you that everybody can be saved, that the Lord is a white guy, when they know clear well that the Lord is not described as a so-called white man in the scriptures, man. They know from the area. You think, man, Esau got satellites all over the fucking place? This man got um, 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 damn submarines, warships, and all kinds of technology and shit. He got an international space center out in, the, out in space. And you trying to tell me they don't know what color the so-called uh, uh, the, the Israelites were? You don't think they know that? Hey, that's why they were so mad with Russia, too. And Russia, Russia broke out those um, those icons, man. And, and, and matter of fact, that was that, Russia, what Russia was actually doing, he was throwing it in the Edomite's face, especially these Americans. Like, God, oh, let me show you guys what, you know, thousands of years, you know, ago, what the, what the real Israelites really looked like. And it's a bunch of niggas, man, when he popped the pictures out. He broke those pictures out, man, and everybody, hey, these white people was going crazy online, man. Talking about, oh, wow, it really doesn't matter. It, but they was pissed because that hope and that dream that a so-called white man is coming to save them clicked and hit their asses over the head like a ton of bricks. And they're like, oh, now all of a sudden this color don't matter. But all these decades, centuries, y'all been pushing white Jesus, man, through iconoclasts. You know what I'm saying? You whitewashing the pictures, man. Now the world is starting to see, and the children of Israel are starting to wake up. And again, like I said, this is why you're seeing all this shit going on in the planet, man. All this division, you know, amongst these Edomites, because their nation is falling. And Esau about to come down with great wrath, man. If you notice these pics that Donald Trump is pulling, 
You know, right now, man, these picks that he's pulling, man, you got you better start looking some of these people up. Because you know the average so-called black person, they didn't know nothing about politics when they was running out here to vote for Kamala. But guess what? Soon as Kamala didn't win, they went right back to doing their they regular bullshit and don't know nothing about what's going on in, in, in the political world, man. They didn't know to begin with. They was only running out here about to vote for this chick because she was a so-called black woman. You know, my body, my rights and bullshit. The lady don't have, she had no kids of her own raising up some so-called white kids for a so-called white man and she's telling you so-called black women to abort your babies and y'all ran out here in droves and voted for that chick but now the average person they don't know what trump doing right now they don't know all the picks of these people that he's picking elon musk hey he got damn dr oz man he got fucking dr oz over medicaid and medicare and brother's been going off into the fact that because he had that episode on one of his shows that was talking about that goddamn implant, man. That microchip. And y'all, and Jake don't know. All these picks that Trump is picking has got to do with, you know, uh, some digital shit. Because at first he wasn't even trying to do nothing digital. And you know what? A lot of these so-called white people, too, now they're starting to see, all right, well, damn. We voted him in, like, what's going on? They don't even know. Now they're starting to see and starting to be like, hold on, what, what the fuck is going on? Why is he picking this person for this? Why is he picking that person for that? Why is he now all of a sudden talking about digital this, digital that, when he was talking about keeping the dollar? You go back, run the tapes, man, the receipts is out there. He was talking about keeping the American dollar running. He wasn't going to get into any of that digital shit, CBDCs and all this other stuff. And all of a sudden you got Elon Musk, you know, now he's talk, he's championing that, that shit, man. So the, the so-called white man has been duped himself. So everybody got duped when it came to these elections, man, or selections. Right? So you're starting to see complete division in the Americas, and not just the Americas, but white people all over the world globally. They can't get along. They're dying off quicker than they're being born, but yet you're killing each other at war. And that's the war, man, you know? Well, we got enough of this right here. I just wanted to just kind of put that in to see what, you know, hey, they, hey that's new AI shit. <laughs> hey, some of these questions that you ask on Google, man, with that new AI, hey, that AI, man, is giving it to them, man. Actually, I think that's gonna be more of a, um, you know, like how the internet is, is really dogging a so-called white man out. That, this AI shit is gonna really, you know, fuck them over. Cause that AI shit <laughs> is actually jumping on some real truths, man, when you go up in there and ask about certain things, you know? But anyway, let's get verse 73 again. Luke 173, the oath, hold on, let me start back at verse 72. It says, to, um, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. That's what we just read. It was only given to Abraham. Then it was passed on to Isaac. Then it was passed on to Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob's name was changed into Israel, or Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue. Those 12 sons that he had, those are the progenitors of the Israelites today. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And it's not a color thing, because... We always like to explain that Israelites are everywhere and we look like everybody. You might see a so-called Chinese person and that could be an Israelite. Or a so-called Japanese person, that could be an Israelite. That's why we, when we come out on the highways and byways, if somebody, someone was to come up and ask about what we're doing and they see the sign, then we explain to them that, hey, it's not about a skin color thing. You can actually be an Israelite. It don't make no difference what you're calling yourself now or what landmass you're in now. See, these Edomites, they done fool people into thinking that you can be a damn color for ethnicity. They done fool people into actually thinking that whatever landmass you live in, that's what you are. No, the Lord gave every nation, there's, he, there are biblical names for these nations, man. And Esau Edom with his curriculum, you know, he's writing all the books and shit. 
Not out everybody out here thinking that they're the smartest people on the planet. When when you're so damn smart, you done fucked up the food, you done fucked up the water, you done fucked up your air quality, but you're all the smartest people on the planet. No, the scripture says that these are vile people. They're viler than the earth. And that the Lord, matter of fact, they're the basis of men. The Lord gave, he gave his kingdom to, it's like, matter of fact, I was thinking of this earlier. Basically, with the so-called white man running the earth, it's like the Lord gave a three-year-old car keys. Right? That's basically the, 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 a total analogy of what's going on with the earth. The Lord gave car keys to a three-year-old. Well, let's just say, you know, someone, uh, uh, well, a, a bigger child, you know, someone that could at least reach the brake and gas pedal. The Lord gave, uh, you know, the, the car keys to a 10-year-old. And they're just out here driving, running into every goddamn thing, crashing into everything, just dangerous to everybody on the road. That's Esau. Matter of fact, let's get on um, Daniel 4 17. I think we pretty much got, um... Yeah, we got we 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 got the point in um Luke chapter one, but Luke chapter one, man, it gives you the whole rundown as to why the Lord is really coming. That's the good news for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. He's not coming to save no goddamn Edomites, man. You think the Lord is about to come and, and, and the Lord coming to deal with these people for destroying His planet, His universe, man? You got all if you can see in the skies, man. If you can see all the trash this man got in the atmosphere, man. I'm standing out here right now. And and, 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 you know, a fucking satellite or some old ass piece of equipment can fall straight to earth right now and fuck me up. He's talking about climate change, this climate change, that he's drilling all the damn oil out of the earth. You know what I'm saying? He's, he, the oceans are all fucked up. You know, everything is just, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like really the Lord gave the keys of his universe to a 10 year old man. Like giving a, a, a ten year old car keys, man. Like go to the store for me. You know, take a road trip from New York down to Alabama. That motherfucker won't make it a block, bro. Pretty much. You mean, <laughs> come on, man. But let's get um Daniel chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, "This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent." That the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. And that's what the Lord has done. Esau Edom is the basis of all men, man. He's the lowest of the lowest of the lowest of all nations. But he's running around on the planet, got everybody thinking that he's the smart guy. And everybody want to be like him too. That's crazy. He has really fooled the earth, man. And that's all scriptural. This man is the physical counterpart of the, of, of the spiritual being Satan on the planet, man. He's the damn devil. He's the fucking devil, bro. He ran throughout the earth talking about democracy this, democracy that, but bombing every goddamn thing. And that's just like um, um, this guy, um, President Putin. He's a damn Edomite too. But guess what? They just shot off a new um, 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 missile. Um, over in Ukraine um, the day before yesterday, I think it was. 13,000 kilometers. That's 8,000 miles per hour, man. That, that particular missile can reach America within 20 minutes, man, from Russia. Easy. 20 to 25, 30 minutes. What you gonna do? And he didn't even have no nuclear warheads on it, but it, it done some damage. And, and, and they were showing that shit on TV. Man, the accuracy that that shit was hitting with, I was like, God damn. But hey, that's Esau. Esau was gifted with that sword. That's all that Esau knows. Matter of fact, the scripture says that he would live by that sword. Let's get it. Genesis chapter 27 and verse 40. And this is going off into how Esau would live. This is the blessing that our forefather Isaac, which, you know, if you have ears to hear, hear he will be Yahweh Shah too, you know, or the reincarnation of who they call Jesus, you know. But our forefather Isaac, it says, and by thy sword shall thy live. That's what, the, that's what, the, that was the blessing that our forefather Isaac actually blessed him with, the sword. So now today, 
the modern day sword, you can still go buy a sword, you can go buy a knife, you can buy a hatchet, you can buy a damn axe, you know what I'm saying? But now, what he has done is, he has, he has advanced that sword into nuclear might. See? He went from the sword to like cannons and shit, you know, back in the days, Gatling guns, you know, he went from that shit to like, you know, uh, you know, shotguns and, you know, all kinds, automatic weapons. Then all of a sudden he's got a grenade launcher, he's got a rocket launcher. You know what I'm saying? So over time, he has just been progressing that sword. You know, he started building tanks and shit, helicopters once they started to fly, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of airplanes and shit. Right. Warplanes, warships. Man, they got warships, man, that's the size of damn small cities, man. Motherfucker might house a hundred jets on that bad boy, man. Taking off, you know what I'm saying? Just flying all over the fucking place, bro. Submarines and shit. So that sword, he's been blessed with that sword. Real, hey, I mean, you can't, you can't say that he, that, that's not him. The best weapon makers in the world is these American Edomites and them Russian Edomites. I can't front them Germans too. But just Edomites in general. No one can outmake a weapon like they can, man. You know, China and them got some shit. North Korea and them got some shit. But none of that shit is matching what these Edomites put together, man. That man, hey, he's strategic when it comes to uh, uh, fucking, fucking you up. This man has, matter of fact, his war goes as far as food, medicines, water. Hey, he, 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 he can turn anything into a weapon. This man has turned your children into, into weapons against you. He has turned your wife into a weapon against you. He takes the sword that far. So now, the last ultimate sword that he has is these nuclear weapons. And guess what? They're, they're not doing nothing but um, implementing new techniques to actually better that shit. So ain't no telling, you get this man another hundred years, man, ain't no telling what the fuck he'll have. So let's get that back again. Genesis 27 and 40. And by thy sword shalt thy live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, thou, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Because at one point, King David, like I said, our king, hey, he was, hey, he was running them Edomites, man. So guess what? What this, what this gospel is about, this good news is about, is when the kingdom comes back and we go back into power, these people are going to be beneath us, man. We're not sharing no kingdom with them. But you got you, these, these damn omni, you got Jake, man. They want to save the so-called white man because they're envious of the so-called white man. The scripture says the um, envy now not the oppressor. You envying the very person that's oppressing the shit out of your ass, man. And, and, and the Lord is going to deal with a lot of our people. Because when I was reading that article, when I was asking about um, why don't so-called black people have a land of their own, and I was reading through the comments of that article or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You had niggas in there, man, you know what I'm saying? Talking like we're, we're all Americans, and, and, and no one should just have their separate lands like that. But fuck, the, the damn so-called white man, he's from the... He's running the whole goddamn planet. He get to run the planet, but we can't. Matter of fact, they said we couldn't even. They was fussing about a damn city, man, or a state. No, they shouldn't be able to have their own state. No, motherfucker, this, this clown got all the continents. He's running all continents, man. But we can't have a damn state. That shit had me so pissed off, man, I had to take a nap. I'm not going to even front. You can see me right now. Just get riled up, man. That shit raised your blood pressure, bro. I was so pissed reading that shit. I'm not going to front, man. I, I literally, <laughs> I had to take a nap after that shit, bro. That's how pissed it makes you. But guess what, though? And, and, and see, our people not pissed enough. Who's going to rile up Judah, man? Matter of fact, let's get Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And a gift destroys the heart. This oppression, man, if you into these scriptures and you're not pissed, you might need to reevaluate yourself, man. 
And that gift destroyed the heart because our people have been, you know, gifted with Esau's bullshit. Especially the so-called black woman, oh my. She a running gun, man, your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to that so-called white man. Why? Because he's giving her the gift of Section 8 food stamps. You know what I'm saying? She's able to, you know, have three, four baby mamas, I mean, baby daddies and shit, get child support for each and every one of them. So she's living it up in this kingdom. But guess what? When a so-called white man fall, you so-called black women, y'all gonna fall right with that clown, man. And we can't wait. You're gonna fall right with him. Why? Because you're, 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 you're an accomplice to his crimes, man, when it comes to the Israelite man. And the Lord is going to start to deal with y'all, man. And matter of fact, you're going to see what this guy Trump. You're going to see what this guy Trump. Hey, hey Trump going gonna, to gonna, gonna jump off in there. He's going to cut a lot of y'all shit, man. Because you know what? Trump, he ate. Hey, guess who came up against Trump the most as far as like him with all these, 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 these charges and shit? Not just the so-called white woman, but we, you got this chick down in um, Atlanta, Fanny, you know? That's where he got his first mug shot at, you know what I'm saying? With you, and, and, and niggas just running around with them shirts on, niggas for Trump. No, you niggas that went out here, you voted for Trump, guess what? I ain't seen him hire no black person yet. Not a one black person on his team yet. He just, got, just came up with a couple more picks. I think he got some white, so-called white woman from Florida on the run to... Um, what is that? Uh, not the CDC. It's a so-called white man. He just got his pick for the so-called for the CDC. A so-called white man for the FDA pick. It was a so-called uh, white woman for um. Damn, what's the other? Something that's got to do with medicine. You know the um the medical department or whatever, whatever. But he ain't chose no so-called black people yet. But you niggas ran out here and you voted for him. But guess what though? Like I said again, you so-called black women. The black woman, so-called black woman that was in New York that brought up charges against him. So he hates you Negro, you Negro women. Hey, hey, the so-called white man, hey, they're starting to really hate y'all now. Y'all, you, hey, they, they done used y'all to torture the so-called black man. And, and matter of fact, he done pushed your men out of your household. And, and the so-called black man don't want nothing to do with you now. So when everything, when shit hits the fans, you're going to be out here all by your damn self. Except for these simps. You're going to get your damn sons killed. You know? Because they're the only ones that's going to... Matter of fact, if they don't go to war, after, if they don't uh, 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 draft their asses, they gonna, your, your simping-ass sons going to get killed trying to protect y'all asses. Right? Because you ain't going to have no real men. Y'all support the LGBTQ. Let's see what these LGBTQ guys are going to do for you in that damn time. They're going to be looking for some goddamn help and protection themselves. So shit is getting real drastic out here, man. This clown got Dr. Oz over to Medicaid and Medicare. Man, they about to give y'all people the business, man. You know Medicaid and Medicare, and those are your poor. Only your poor really are on things like that, man. And Trump don't care about his own people. Because a lot of his own people are on shit like that. It ain't no telling what they're about to do, man. They're probably about to cut all that shit. So we're most definitely in the last of days, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Let's get that Romans 13 and 11. Y'all better wake the hell up and see what's going on out here, man. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now, man, it's the time to wake up, man. Because all the prophecies are coming to pass right before our very eyes, which is a beautiful thing, man. That's the, hey, that's the most joy that I get, you know, throughout the day, because this place is depressing as hell. This is a very vile-ass place, man.
and it's vexing, man. So the best part of my day is seeing, you know, when shit is really happening and going down with these prophecies because we know that we're just one day closer, man, to our Lord coming. Because we really need out of these people's hands, man. We are so destroyed, we don't even know we're destroyed as a people. That's crazy. So it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai. Because other than that, you're going to be destroyed along with these people. And we're only out here for the elect of Israel anyway, man. And I'm praying that I'm a part of the hopefully elect, man. I can't wait, bro, to really be able to get down on these goddamn heathen, man. I cannot wait. You got Jake out here want to be hand in hand with their oppressor, bro. Loving this guy more than they love their own people. They can't fathom having a kingdom. They can't fathom being in charge. They don't, they don't even want it. If the so-called white man can't be a part of this, this thing, they don't want nothing to do with it. Because those are the very people that they ask about when you're out here on these highways. But well, what about the so-called white man? What about the white man? Well, what about you? They will never ask you about what about the so-called Chinese man or Japanese or anybody. They're always concerned about their oppressor. That's Stockholm Syndrome, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Verse 12. Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. You know? This is the time period that we're in, man. To cast off those works of darkness, man, and put on the armor of light. How do you do that? By repenting to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai, and getting into these scriptures and finding out the do's and don'ts. Do what he told us to do and, and don't do what he, you know. You got to get into these scriptures and see what he said. The shit he told us not to do, you don't need to be doing it because it's going to get you destroyed. The things that he told us to do, you need to be doing them because that brings light. And prosperity within your life, man. I mean, we're still in captivity, but when you live by these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability in these scriptures, you can actually see the power in it, man. You can actually see it in, 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 in play. You know, being slow to anger, having patience. You know, those, those are vital things to have. If you just had those two things right there, your life would be 100% better as opposed to you just being carnal as hell. We ain't gonna even go off into the dietary law as far as eating better, not smoking and drinking, you know, to yourself to, and access to fucking up your temple, you know, doing all kinds of drugs and shit, being peaceful towards your brethren, having love towards your brethren. See? Because these ten commandments, just the ten commandments. If our people would just keep it the ten commandments, you know how, how how the crime would fall amongst our people. Just think, if, if thou shalt not murder. Come on, bro. Jake out here just gunning they uh, gun your ass down for nothing. Matter of fact. Esau makes a lot of money off you doing those particular things. He promotes you breaking the Ten Commandments. Esau actually promotes murder. You can see that in his movies. You can see that in the music that he pushes on us. You can see that in um, the video games and stuff like that. Thou shalt not steal. This motherfucker stole a whole continent. Matter of fact, all over the world. Stealing. Resources. He steals money from you on a week-to-week -week basis just through taxes. He holds back your pay for a week, two weeks, when he can pay you every day. You don't think that this man can't easily pay you every day? Come on, bro. Everything is digital. Why can't he, he drop your money in, in, in your bank account every day? Because he holds on to it and he steals more money from you through taxes. Right? But I'm just saying, within the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not steal... You know, thou shalt not, it says kill, but really it means thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. If you, you know how many people of our people have died, got deleted in a, in a very heinous way because they was dealing with another man's woman? 
you know, thou shalt not cut it. You know, if we just kept those basic Ten Commandments, man, and, and, and overall, the, 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 number, the number one, top one, is thou shalt not have no other gods before you, how about Shimei was shot? Because he's the one that provides for us. That's the number one. Just think if we just done that, man. How far along we will be as a people. But Esau, he promotes idolatry. And guess what that does for him? It keeps his court his courtrooms filled. I went to um um and, and that was the first time and all because I used to throw them shits in the trash. But you know about a spirit, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know I prayed because I wasn't gonna go. But um you know the uh, what's that the uh, jury duty bullshit. And I went to that shit. I was about a month back or so. I went, man. Early as shit. Sun wasn't even up, man. It was dark as shit outside when I got to that court. You know, just to try and be there, you know what I'm saying, on time and, you know, get parking and all that bullshit. Man, when I tell you, man, there was so much, so many fucking people down there, man, I was like, God damn. Thousands of people, bro. In one courtroom, one court building. They, matter of fact, it's so much crime, they had to build a new building. I was at the new building. Man, that damn building was like 12 stories. I don't even know how many stories that shit was, but each one of them floors had courtrooms and shit on them. Multiple courtrooms. The damn jury room was so filled up with people, the fucking line was, and I'm thinking to myself, like, this is just one court in America. Just one of them. And this shit goes on every single day in, in all 50 states, man, all these major cities and shit like that. And little cities, little towns. All kinds of crime, man, going on. And, and, and this so-called white man, he's got court systems set up talking about justice when you stole every goddamn thing that you had, man. He's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite. That's what the scripture's talking about. But anyway, Romans 13 and 12, let's get that again. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. The armor of light, man, that's the, that's the words of Yahweh Bashim al In a nutshell, believing in, believing in his son, Yahweh Shai. Because if you don't believe in him, you're condemned already. You're already condemned. And we we, we going to see, man, like I said, they always pray on that Luke 21 and um, 36. You know, uh, pray that... Um, where it go? Let me get it, actually. And you should be praying without ceasing, man. We pray, man. You should be praying all day, every day, man. Luke 21 and 36, it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's the major goal. It's to stand before the Son of Man, Yahweh Shah Mashiach which the world eagerly calls Jesus. That's the main goal. That's the goal that we're trying to get to. Being counted worthy enough to get one of those crowns, man. Working out our, 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 our own salvation with fear and trembling. Because Jake just out here just having a merry time, man. They don't, they don't give a shit. All Jake wants is their games, their little football, basketball games. You know what I'm saying? A little entertainment. They, you know, they little drugs and shit. Nice little car. You know, be at the damn car wash for five, six hours. You know what I'm saying? Armor all in the damn tires and shit. And Jake don't care about much more than that, man. Being able to, you know, just go out and just be wicked as hell overall. Jake not thinking about nothing. But see, the times that we're in, it's going to catch Jake off guard like a thief in the night, man. And that, that's what the scripture talks about, how the Lord going to come like a thief in the night. But, hey, that nuclear war going to hit the asses, too. The Lord going to use Trump to hit y'all asses over the head like a thief in the night. Because there's going to be some all of a sudden shit with this guy, man. And that's just all over the world. But those wars and rumors of war is really pumping right now, man. This guy over in Russia done changed his nuclear doctrine up. He's like, hey, man, y'all, hey. And matter of fact, he said on TV, he gave a warning. He like, these missiles that we just shot off, you can't fucking stop them. 
All those missiles hit. Wasn't no NATO nations. None of, it wasn't nothing they could do to stop those missiles. Because those bitches was moving too fast. <laughs> and, and they, you know, the guy, he sat right there on TV and told him, hey, look, this is just a, just a smidgen. These are just new missiles that, you know, we, we're just going to test these shits with Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? You guys can't stop them. In 8,000 miles an hour, like I said, shit, man, hey. I'm not sure. Let me see. Matter of fact, we can see. Let's check and see. I like to ask Google all kinds of shit. How far is Russia from the United States? It says, I'm not sure by car. No, you can't get there by car. But anyway, it says 5,338 miles. Right? Right? So, if the missile, and this, 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 this is just this particular one. Because I think they got, they got some shit faster than that. But 8,000 miles an hour, and the shit is only 5,000 miles away. So that would mean that, man, they can shoot off one. They can shoot off that shit, man, and that shit will be here 30 minutes or so, man, pretty much. Easy. Easy, man. And we and, and the scripture's talking about how this place is going to be brought down with nuclear fire. Within an hour, this place is going to be demolished. So that's why it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. What's the fastest missile that Russia has in their arsenal? Boy, hey, hey, this is how you know. Hey, Esau hey, is the master of, of, of that of that sword, man. Because really, in reality, it's the Lord that's doing that. See, those missiles, all this stuff that they think they have, that's actually, those are the, those are the, uh, the Lord's uh, missiles, man. All those nuclear warheads, all that shit, everything, on it, everything in the universe, everything belongs to the Lord. And they don't know on the left-hand side, he's just uh, give, giving them the ability to, um, to build those things, man, to, de to actually de to destroy themselves. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So the Lord has got these people out here doing what they're doing, man. The Lord was the one that placed it on Joe Biden's heart or mind, which is love in the Hebrew to actually give Ukraine the permission to um, shoot those long-range missiles into Russia. And then, over in um, the, the British, they allow Ukraine to do the same thing the next day, and then, all of a sudden, Russia shoots some brand new shit off in there, they can't stop it. So all these mind things that the Lord has been, matter of fact, that's in the book of Job, I think it is. Job chapter 33, verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sendeth their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So the Lord gives you your instructions as your day goes on through your sleep. That's a, this is how, that's a clear cut to free will. You don't have no free will. As those leaders sleep in the bed, the Lord seals their instructions, man. Right?
Even even um um Dementia Joe um um Jim Crow Joe. Dementia Jim Crow Joe, he caught that nap. He went to sleep. <laughs> the Lord programmed him to allow Ukraine to shoot those missiles, those long range missiles into Russia. And then hey, the Lord sealed uh, uh, the Russian president's uh, uh, mind. You know what I'm saying by shooting off this new shit. See, these Edomites, they have no idea that the Lord is, is just moving their asses around like puppet pieces, man. Because what does the scripture say? Um, um, that's that, um, that Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? But see, these Edomites are not spiritual. They believe in their own might. That's why they really believe that they're going to, you know, trump. He'll say something like, make America great again. Because he really believes in his might. He, he believes that physically, he's so smart. But we clearly see that hey, it's the Lord that the ones that, um, 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 you know what I'm saying, programs their asses, man. And they had, matter of fact, the Lord done made them so stupid, he, he done put them in such a trick bag, they don't even know that it's actually the Lord. That's scary, bro. That's, hey, that's the power of Yahweh by Jimmy outside. They, man, look, the Lord is in control of all things. Let's get on uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6, right? It says, the Lord, Yahweh, kill it. That nigga flying kind of low right there, but the airport is not that far away. But that's Esau, though, man. Esau flying all through the skies and shit. He just think he's just this amazing man. And he don't know that it's the Lord, the one that gave him the little shit that he has on the left-hand side, man. But he's prideful as hell. And you know pride comes before fall. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So every single situation with every person that's going on in the world, the Lord has them going through it. There's no such thing as free will. There's no such thing. As, you might be able to make, you know, you, you're thinking, all right, I'm, I'm going to make it plans to go to Disneyland next month or some shit. But you don't even know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. So how are you going to know what's going to happen within the next month? People change plans. Hey, uh, pe people's plans change every day. It's people that didn't wake up this morning. They had plans for today. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, that's how about shit about side, man. They had plans for today and didn't even wake up. Think about that for a minute. And that's the power of your how about shit about side. Matter of fact, um, what's that, uh, where this guy, let me see if I can find it. It's like, uh, I think <laughs> the Lord called him a fool. Thou fool. The Lord's going to take that nigga's spirit away from him, man. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Luke chapter 12. Let me start at verse. Hey, this a, hey the Lord was cold with the parables, man. That's how you know that what, the Lord was a so-called black man. He was a jake, man. Jake Cole with, with, with wordplay, man. The Lord, the Lord is cold with the parables, man. But uh, this is Luke chapter 12, verse 16. It's in red letter. So we know Yahweh side speaking with the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will, there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Yeah, Edomite's living out of that car, boy. That motherfucker. And they got the hazards on that bitch, man. <laughs> Everything in that boy. So-called white woman. She was looking like, what's he doing? And we're preaching down your kingdom, man. But it says, I will say to my soul, soul, 
Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Well, check out what the Lord says to us, right? But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who, then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? See? That nigga was making all the plans, man. <laughs> hey, but that's why the scriptures talked about saying, if it's the Lord's will, thou shalt do such and such, such and such. And that's something, too, that you know what I'm saying? I've been getting a little bit better at it. But, you know, when you when you say things, man, you, you really should be saying if it's the Lord's will. Lord willing, I'm going to do this. Or Lord willing, I'm going to do that. But you got people that's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And they actually didn't even wake up today. What about that? So this is the type of power that we're dealing with, man. Yeah, how about Shimei was shy, man? He's all powerful. And so when you woke up to this truth, he woke you up to it. It wasn't something that you just stumbled upon. It wasn't something that you just came across. It wasn't something that you were just so smart you figured it out on your own. That's why we should be thankful to Yahweh about Shimei was shy for all that he do for us. But why the Koholoi Mla, Yahweh about Shimei was shy? For waking us up to this truth. Because it's billions of people in the earth. It's only a few people, really in reality, a small smidgen of people that know this truth. And that's gonna know it when he comes. So be thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, for that. So I'm gonna end out there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. And hey, we're, we're definitely in the last days. You know, um, can't get around it, man. I, 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 people actually speak on it. They just don't know as to what's really going on biblically. Because these people know, they know that, yeah, they'll tell you quick, yeah, we're living in the last days. We have to be. But guess what? They don't know the scripture. So again, be thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that you know as to why all this shit is going on. Right? So with that, I just want to end out by saying, call hello Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash. Give honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say, for to all you Akim and Akwap again, for, you know, hey, just doing the best that you can, man. So with that, Shalom. And continue on praying down Esau's kingdom, man. Because it's working. We're starting to see that it's working. With that, Shalom.